Good morning, brothers and sisters. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we which partake, partake of Christ, the sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and receive the pledge of glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you give us the Eucharist as the memory of your suffering and death. May we worship of the sacrament of your body and blood. And blood. Help, Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live, the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, o God who gave who joy, joy to the world to the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary's mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Sorrowful Mysteries The First Sorrowful Mystery The Agony in the Garden Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail, Hail our life, our, our sweetness, sweetness, and our hope. To it we cry, for banished children of Eve. To it we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his, by his life, death, death and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may obtain what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel, the gospel we share to all peoples. peoples. By your, By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. 
Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the memorial of St. Pius V, friar and pope. Antonio Gisliere was born in 1504 at Bosco in Piedmont, Italy. At the age of 14, he entered the Dominican order and took the name Michael. He taught theology and held several positions of responsibility, first as prior of several communities, then as commissary general of the Roman Inquisition. In 1556, he was named bishop of Napi and Sutri and was created cardinal in 1557. In 1566, he was elected pope and took the name Pius. He implemented the decrees of the Council of Trent published the revised breviary and missal, reformed the Roman Curia, issued the Roman Catechism, and defended Catholic doctrine against the reformers. His love and devotion to the Virgin Mary was manifested when he entreated her through the Rosary to spare the Christian forces in the Battle of Lepanto. Moved by this victory, he instituted the Feast of Our Lady of Victory. He died May 1, 1572. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall hear your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountain as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mary by in Massa, the children's men provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swear in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. The Lord is my strength and my song. God is my Savior. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Awash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, surely I know them. My sin is always before me. 
Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones we have crossed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burn offering from me you will refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord's right hand has triumphed and has raised me up. Alleluia. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, escort you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged, may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth, Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the chosen one through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever serves me will be honored by my Father in heaven. Alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters her frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Faithful God, you have called our brother Pius the fifth to defend the faith and to renew the worship of your church. With the help of his prayers, guide us toward that worship in truth, which is faithful to your word. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul sent word from Miletus to Ephesus, summoning the elders of that church. When they came to him, he delivered this address. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock the Holy Spirit has given you to guard. Shepherd the church of God, which he, which he has acquired at the price of his own blood. I know that when I am gone, savage wolves will come among you who will not spare the flock. From your own number, men will present themselves distorting the truth and leading astray any who follow them. Be on guard, therefore. Do not forget that, the, that for three years, night and day, I never ceased warning you individually, even to the point of tears. I commend you now to the Lord and to that gracious word of His which, of his which can enlarge you and give you a share among all who are cons consecrated to Him. After this discourse, Paul knelt down with them and prayed the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord will build from Zion, your sceptre of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has, sw has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Please stand. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to his disciples again, and when they had eaten their meal, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Yes, Lord, Peter said, You know that I love you. At which Jesus said, Feed my lambs. A second time he put his question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, You know that I love you. Jesus replied, then my sheep. A third time Jesus asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because he had asked a third time, Do you love me? So he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know well that I love you. Jesus told him, Feed my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May kakulitan din palang Diyos. 
Bakit? Matanong. At ang tanong niya ay the same questions. Hindi nag-iiba. Ito ang tanong niya kay Pedro. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Three times. Three times. Para bagang bata na may hinihingi at uh, pag hindi mabigay ka agad, hihingi ulit. At para din yung magkasintahan na paulit-ulit ang tanong, Do you love me? Ay, mahal mo pa ako? This is the question that happened when our Lord appeared in Tiberias among his disciples at in front of the fire where they roast fish they prepared for their breakfast our Lord just as a friend suddenly asked Peter do you love me? do you love me? do you love me? I don't know if Peter realize the charcoal that is witnessing for his answer the same most probably presentation of the charcoal of that fire when peter denied three times our lord remember peter denied three times our Lord before the cock crows. And there is that kind of relationship between the denial of Peter and the question of our Lord, do you love me? Certainly, our Lord knew, but he want a confirmation for Peter had denied him three times already. And so, not certainly to uh, uh, be distracted, again, our Lord asked Peter three times also, Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Makulit, di ba? Makulit. Na question. But I think the deeper thought is that our Lord wants to assure Peter and to affirm the love of Peter. When Peter told Jesus, You know that I love you. Yes. This is not to discourage Peter of what had happened. Certainly, Peter was hurt. Natural lang yan. Natural lang yan. Yung isang tao na nagmamahal at gusto pang patunayan at hindi mapaniwalaan, talagang masasaktan ka. Sabihin mo sa asawa mo, Do you love me? Eh, yung asawa mo eh, naghira for how many years? Sa pag ng inyong anak, sa paglaba ng inyong mga damit, sa pagluluto na inyong pagkain, sa paglinis ng bahay. Still, you ask, Do you love me? Talagang masasaktan ka, di ba? Pero mo yung asawa mo, Do you love me? Eh, ano pang ginagawa? Naghihirap. Naghanap ng trabaho. 
nagbubungkal ng bukid, pinapawisan. Kuminsan nagugutom o nagugutuman. Then, tanungin mo pa rin, do you love me? Certainly, it hurts. Talagang masasaktan ka kapag hindi mo talagang inaamin na mayroong trust ka sa Kanya. But not in the relationship of Jesus and Peter. Jesus just want to affirm Peter that Jesus loves him in spite of the fact that Peter denied him three times. And knowing the fact, knowing the true love of Peter, Jesus give him the task. Feed my lamb. Tend my sheep. Feed my sheep. And this our responsibility of Peter to bring the good news, to bring the message of salvation, and to bring his people to a greener pasture in order to be saved. Mga kapatid, kami ng aking classmate, yung ating presider ngayon, nagpapasalamat sa Diyos sa araw na ito, sa kapistahan ni Pope Pius V, a Dominican Pope, kung saan kami ay naordinan. We were 12 ordained priests. Yung isa na matay na at meron ding lumabas. Ang mahalaga na hanggang ngayon ay may naiiwan. And the question of Jesus to Peter is very, very relevant. Especially for me. I will not speak in behalf of those uh, uh, companion of mine personally. They have different experience and I have my own experience for 38 years as a priest. Sabihin ko na sa totoo lang, ginapang ko talaga ang bukas lang ko. Ang aking pagkapare, nariyan ang classmate ko, nasa likod ko yung mga professors ko at alam nila ang alam, uh, alam nila kung ano mga nangyayari nagkasakit ako lumabas ako bumalik ako hanggang makatapos ginapang kong pag-aaral ko at uh, salamat sa Diyos uh, na ordinan but Para sa akin, in spite of all those difficulties, there is no regrets. No regrets. I am very thankful for the love of God and for calling me to become a priest. I enjoy my ministries in the mission, especially. I enjoy my Apostolate, I enjoy my work as a priest. And this is because, not of me, but because of the love of God. Pagmamahal at awa ng Diyos ang nagbibigay ng lakas upang ipatuloy itong pagkapari. I hope the same experience with some, with my companions. And I believe with you, kayo din, 
ganun din. Siguro hanggang ngayon, tinatanong pa rin tayo ng Diyos, Do you love me? Are you faithful with that kind of love? Or, most probably, we can ask also God, Do you love me? Mahal mo po ba ako? Bakit ganito ang nangyayari sa buhay ko? Ang hirap-hirap ng buhay ko. Do you love me? Ano kayang sasagot ng ating Panginoon? Certainly, may sagot ng ating Panginoon. If you just look at Him on the cross, that is the great answer of the unconditional love of God for us. What we need only is to persevere in that love and in our love, trusting to that love. Mga kapatid, ipagdasal niyo kami na sana ang bawat isa sa amin, yung mga naiiwan, will continue in spite of the difficulties of the time of this pandemic. Sana po, katulad ni Pedro, we can also bring people to a greener pasture. Hindi lamang sa pag-iisip tungkol sa community pantries, ngunit pag-iisip tungkol sa community na pag-aaral at paghatid ng salita ng Diyos. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit kami naordinan in order to serve and not to be served. Please stand. Let us now present to our loving Father our petitions. He is our Father. He loves us. He knows our needs. He listens to us. After his petition, we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may she be blessed with good shepherds to continue Jesus' ministry of life and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders, may they strive to seek the common good by promoting freedom and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That, by God's grace, all people may stand courageously for what is right and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who participate in the pastoral work of the Church, may they find strength and inspiration in Christ the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For priests who are celebrating their ordination anniversaries today, especially for Father Bienvenido Trinilla Jr. O.P. and Father Eugene Cabillion O.P. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all of us gathered here celebrating the feast of St. Pius V. May we be confirmed in our faith and love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, loving Father, you know what is in our minds, you know what is in our hearts. Grant to us those things that you know in your infinite wisdom would be for our good. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring these gifts to you, Lord, on this feast of our brother Pius. Accept our bread and wine as a sign of our faithful service. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, the, of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, Saint Pope Pius V, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Praise of the Most High God, you were a good shepherd and pleasing to the Lord. Alleluia. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the Lord, his word to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to receive him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Priest of the Most High God, you were a good shepherd and pleasing to the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. O Lord, we have renewed our faith at the table of your banquet. May we, like our brother Pius, contemplate the mystery of the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. We will now pray the Horatio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingay and Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay and Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest, your priest sons as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa banal na misa. Patuloy niyo po kaming ipagdasal at makaasa po kayo. Lagi niyo po kayong namin kayong sinasama sa aming mga panalangin. The Lord be, be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, crucifix, scapulars, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>